The First Time Parent, An Honest Guide to Coping Brilliantly with Your Newborn Baby Communicating with Baby As a first time parent, you probably wonder when your baby's cooing will develop into their first words. Babies normally articulate their first words from 11 months. Needless to say, the rate at which babies arrive at this milestone may vary. If you wish for your little one to get to this stage faster, you have to make an effort to help them do so. How do babies communicate? The reality is that your little one is actually learning the ability to communicate day in and day out. Every time he or she cries, you normally make it a point to make them feel better. Your reaction and the manner in which you respond to your baby's noisemaking sets the groundwork for language. At the age of two months, your baby is already capable of responding to your cues. In addition, the sing-song manner in which you talk keeps them engrossed and encourages interpretation of words and sentences. That's why every time you speak, he or she stares back at you and makes cooing sounds in response. It is in this fashion that babies communicate with their parents. By the time your little one turns six months old, they will typically begin to babble. At first, the sounds will only comprise of vowels. After that, their twaddle will then include consonants. Within months, your baby will attempt to mimic your words and other sounds. How to encourage baby talk. Match items up with names. At mealtime, for instance, introduce them to eating utensils like the plate, spoon, and fork. Playing games like peekaboo actually reinforces listening, imitation, and taking turns, all of which are prerequisites of carrying out a conversation. Read together. In the beginning, your baby will not understand the words you say. Nonetheless, reading to your little one will stimulate their senses and perhaps foster a fondness for books. Each time your child babbles, Utter something similar in reply. For instance, if he says, boo boo, you may respond with something like, hey, goo goo. The fun things you can do with sounds actually make learning a lot more pleasurable. Just remember to pause briefly to let your little one babble back and get used to the pattern of a real conversation. Babies have a fondness for music. Singing, therefore, is an excellent manner of introducing a wide array of sounds. Your little one's first word is without a doubt a thrilling milestone. Remember, though, that babies develop at different rates, and whether your child is an early or late talker, it rarely holds a bearing on their communication skills later in life. <laughs>